Good morning everyone. Last class we have discussed regarding the Samadhi and that Samadhi is related to Ashtanga Samadhi and Ashtanga Yoga related to Samadhi means that was comes under Samprakata Samadhi. Today we will be talking on the togetherness of this Antaranga Yoga that is called as Sanyamaha. What is Sanyamaha explain this Sutra? Trayam Ekatra Sanyamaha. I repeat Trayam Ekatra Sanyamaha. Trayam means three things. I will discuss. Means Antaranga Yoga. Remember, this is called Antaranga Yoga. This Trayam. Antaranga Yoga are three are there. One is called Dharana, Dharana, Dhyana, and Samadhi. These three known as the Antaranga Yoga. If you do concentrate, if you practice, or if you continuously focus on meditate on this three that is called as Sanyamaha so here the Trayam stands for here this three and under Antaranga Yoga Vairani Yoga we already discussed first five means Yama to Yama Niyama Asana Pranayama and Pratyahara and last three Dharana Dhyana Samadhi they known as Antaranga Yoga so if you concentrate if you meditate on Antaranga or internal limbs means Dharana Dhyana Samadhi they call as the Trayam if you do that, what will happen? Ekatra. Ekatra means their togetherness. Ekatra means togetherness. Togetherness means their one name. Okay, you want to take a one name. They known as separately Yama, sorry, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. If you tell them together, if you want to call them together, they call as Sanyamaha. Like if you tell the name Ashit, Ravi, okay, Jovin. If you tell the name separately, it will become different, different. But if you take the batch of 2020, 2021, so they as togetherness. Okay. So that togetherness is called as Sanyamaha. Sanyamaha means the togetherness of Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. Sanyamaha. Let's understand the meaning of Sanyamaha. The Yama we already discussed under uh, Ahimsa, Satyastaya, this thing sounds like Yamaha. The moral uh, value or moral behavior. Yamaha. So Yamaha means the control and if you add the upasarga sum it's the upasarga then the what will become nicely controlled so sanyama stands for the nicely okay means not only one day practice if you practice continuously then it will be controlled very nicely so when it's controlled nicely then only it is called as the sanyamaha it is means this three together remember so wherever next in this third chapter Bhivuti Pada, we will be talking different types of Sanyamaha. Sanyamaha means the meditation, concentrations on particular three things, Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi. If you do, then only the result will come. Like next Sutra, we will be talking later on, the Kantakupe Sanyamat. Okay, Kantakupe Sanyamat, Shut Pipasa Nevritti. If you concentrate on Kantakupa, the Sanyama, then what will happen? Shut Pipasa. You will be able to overcome, or you will get the mastery over the Shut, hunger and the thrust. So there Sanyama stands for the not only meditation. There Dharana you have to do, Dhyana you have to do and Samadhi you should do. Mean all these things happen in the state of Chitta only. Here the concentration level is maybe out of 130 percent Dharana level. Here maybe it is increased little bit Dhyana maybe 70 percent. In Samadhi level what will happen in this state what, what will happen here the concentration is very high maybe 90 to 95. Okay, still not zero. Zero means still it will become the chitrit in the state. That is called asam pragyata. Means still five person is remaining in this state. Where in this state means in the state of this level, this samadhi, which is called sampragyata samadhi. So if you continuously focusing on this three together at a time, means if you concentrate on your throat itself for a long time. Okay, dharana also doing there, dhyana also doing there, then samadhi also doing there. Okay, so that togetherness is called or oneness is called Sanyamaha and Sanyamaha means the well control. So this is the meaning of this Sutra. Please keep in mind or please make the notes. Let's see the next Sutra. Now she here, explain here, Tat Jayat Pragya Lokaha. Tat Jayat, see if you split the line, Tat Sandhi is there, Tat Jayat Pragya Lokaha, Pragya Alokaha. Tat means, see this is one kind of Shabda, Tat, okay, 
संयमा means the focusing on that particular dharana dhyana samadhi doing on a particular place it may be inside your body it may be outside any kind of it may be a stone it may be a murti it may be on your nose it may be tip of your tongue anything or middle of the eyebrows so that if you do that if you you will get the mastery over that mastery over sanyama then what will happen pragya lokaha pragya means the full knowledge purna knowledge purna gyanam okay the full knowledge okay full knowledge what will happen aloka aloka means the lighting okay so lighting will be there pragya means another word you can say pragya means buddhi also okay so buddhi has the two kinds of qualities like sankhya kaika they mentioned buddhi has two one is called the sattvaguna type kind and one is called tamaguna sattvaguna means like a dharma jnana vairagya and aischayya i think you know about this sankhya kaika dimension dharma jnana viraga aischayyam satvikam etam rupam tamasa atmas asmat vipriyastam the tamasa is the tamasa the opposite of all this means dharma will become adharma so you should know this also adharma jnana will become agyana agyana vairagya will become avairagya so if you add the word and ishya become anishya so this is the explanation given so what will happen purna knowledge when it comes into the buddhi or intellect automatically the tamo guna will become reduced and the sattva guna will be improve increase remember still here the guna will be present sattva guna is present i already mentioned sattva guna is connected to the sampragya the samadhi we already discuss here already mentioned here see this state sampragya the samadhi this samadhi okay so what will happen dharma jnana viraga isaya all these things will be more and more in the state of this practice so if you practice dharma dhyana samadhi together but when you continuously practicing the last part of samadhi continuously then it leads to asampragyata that we will be talking some other time also later as this comes we will be discussing okay so in this context purpose some other line also they explain in yoga sutra first chapter 47 in that range some sutra kind of like a निर्विचार वैशारध्य अध्यात्म प्रसाद निर्विचार वैशारध्य ओके अन्य मोन सब सो दैट रिजल्ट इज टेलिंग हियर अध्यात्म प्रसाद द इनर शांति विल बी देयर इनर पीस रिमेंबर इनर पीस विल बी देयर व्हेयर इन द स्टेट ऑफ दिस व्हेन यू विल गेट मास्टरी ओवर द संयमा संयमा मींस दिस त्रि धारण ध्यान समाधि सो इनर पीस देयर लाइन एक्सप्लेन हियर निर्विचार वैशारद्य अध्यात्म प्रसाद सो एन इट विल बी एक्सटेंडेड एज द तत्र रितंभा तत्र प्रज्ञा the pragya will become ritam full of the ritam means satyam like the tirupanishad mentions ritam bada satyam bada dharmam chara and all these things so the satya universal truth so the quality will become of chitta is satyam truth satya guna to tell uh, true always so this how they explain this line so by the practice of getting concentration or meditations on sanyamaha means dharma dhyana samadhi if you get mastery here that means that only sanyama the pragya aloka the aloka of light will become open like in explain in practice of pranayama 
Shiyati Prakash Abharanam. The Abharanam will become less or will become collapse. So here also the Alokaha which was covered by the this kind of Tamaguna of Adharma and all these things that will become close or it will destroy. Then the Sattuguna related quality will be apprehension in the list of Buddhi. Okay. So this is the benefit of Sayama. If you practice Sayama, what will happen? So later on, wherever we use the word Sayama, you should stand, you should understand the three together. Dharna and Dhyana, Samadhi, these three things that goes together. So this is the whole meaning of this Sutra. If you have any doubt, please let me know or you can contact me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.